Jimmy, uh, if there was to pick one species to keep, what would it be and why? Siskins, I would like. I like the siskins. The siskin hen is one of my favourite birds and also I suppose I've done a lot of winning with chaffers and brambles but I still admire a siskin hen. Okay, um, Jim, I was looking at the old Hanslow All British Show Report in 1961 and it says there were foreign birds being shown. When did this start and finish? Enjoy your day from John. When he says there was foreign birds being shown, mm. show the, report, show. what 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 foreign birds? I can't yeah. remember any foreign birds at the '61 All British. No, it was all British. Whether he was talking about the Siberians coming in because they did come in a long while ago. McCleary in Scotland brought them years ago, you know. Uh, uh, and then uh, I used to go down to a man called Tommy Dineen. People might have heard of Tommy Dineen. He was known as the Miner King. He had the miners was five pound and five pound each, and it was he had a, a his logo was a miner with a crown on his head. And these great big Java Greater Hill miners, and um, he used to get in ten thousand Siberians, and they were thirty above a pair. That's one pound fifty a pair, and uh, he used to get in like well ridiculous birds like pintail nonpareils, seventy and six a pair, and uh, unfortunately he. Um, he had to drink a bit and uh, killed somebody and he just died off them. But uh, that's when the first foreign birds come in, the Siberian birds. No, and, and McCleary had them and everybody was getting them and showing them, thinking that they could win with them, like, but they didn't. But um, that's, that, if he, unless he said anything else, that's the yeah, only... Yeah, no, that's unfortunately, that's just a short description. OK, we'll move on. Uh, Warren says, uh, hi Jimmy, with all the natives finching hybrids, gracing the show benches, why do we never ever see many, if any, soft bill hybrids? Well, you've got to realise the amount of people that keep soft bills is nowhere near the amount of people that keep hard bills and mules. I mean, uh, and, and like, what, what soft bills are you going to get? I know um, there was a man bred a yellow wag, cross grey wag, didn't there? And, uh, uh, there's also been the uh, uh, blackbird thrushes and uh, missile thrush blackbirds, but apart from that, mm. there ain't been anybody else, has there? No, no. Right, last question, up to you. Uh, have you any tips or tricks you want to share? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean by tips and that? It's it's only got to be for experience. You've got to just study the birds and see which birds are winning. And I always think like, why? Different parts of the country, they've got different ideas, is because of the best chap in that area that wins with his birds, all the novices and all the local people follow him. And whether he's right or wrong, they follow him. Now in the south, we, I like quality and colour in birds. Quality of feather and colour in that. So any like people that I've started, like Johnny Ball, he was... I've, when Johnny used to live in Felton, he used to come to me and uh, he was a good friend of mine for many years and uh, I told him a lot about birds. Even he used to say to me, you never told me about this and you never told me about that. And I used to say, John, if I told you everything, you'd know as much as I do. But as I say, they just follow that person and up north, if, if like McCracken or Jack Lloyd are showing these great big long greenies with as I call them, Janie Mansfield birds, all bus and all arse. We don't want that. They're getting through double buffing, double buffing. They're, they're getting the size, but the feather, it's got no quality of feather, no colour at all, just silly bulk. Well, that's the ones they're showing. That's why they don't come down to England, down to the, sorry, down to the south, because if they come down to the south, they will get slaughtered. But... Brilliant. Well, I'd just like to thank, uh, on behalf of the BBO and everybody here today, for your chat. James, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Good man.